course for me. Hola. Hey, is dairy healthy? We eat it every day. Stay tuned until the end of the video to find out. Then you can brag to all your friends about your newfound knowledge. Knowledge. And school them about the perils of dairy. The simple answer is, it's like Karen's relationship status. It's complicated. So, should you be interested in a food that you eat almost daily and the general population eats almost daily? Well, yes, of course you should be interested. So a video that I thought would take me a maximum of one week of research took me almost a month of daily research of tens of studies. All the references and studies that I'm gonna talk about in this video will be in the description because I don't want for this video to be about two hours long and for you to fall asleep in the middle of the video. So, dairy is good and bad. It helps with some aspects, but it also is related to some diseases. Well, see the proportion. What's even more aggravating is the fact that most of the quality studies that show benefits of dairy are, guess what, sponsored by the dairy and food companies. So, let's begin with the bad. There have been many correlations and studies with autoimmune disorders and dairy. Disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, spondyloarthropathy like ankylosing spondylitis, inflammatory bowel disease, multiple sclerosis, cerebral folate deficiency syndrome, and especially with type 1 diabetes. The logic behind the autoimmunity related to dairy is the fact that dairy constituents, specific proteins in dairy to be exact, such as casein, have a similar structure to components from our own tissue. The body's immune system attacks the elements from dairy, so casein protein, and then it attacks its own tissues that have similar proteins, pancreatic tissue, nervous tissue, joint tissue, insulin, intestinal wall. Of course, what I've just said is an oversimplified view. Not all of the mechanisms are known. There are some other factors involved, like genetics, environmental factors, such as infections. For example, a bacteria found in milk could trigger rheumatoid arthritis, Mycobacterium avium paratuberculosis, and this is also linked to inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease. So it's not just a simple equation, dairy in, autoimmune disorder. There are several elements involved. Also, it is good to know that infants' bodies and digestive enzymes can't properly digest dairy. That's why for a baby who is under 12 months, it is not recommended for him to receive whole milk and whole milk products. This can affect the intestinal wall and produce exudative hemorrhage. Also, it can lead to loss of iron, iron deficiency, because of the specific makeup of cow's milk, which has different proportions of calcium, phosphates and other minerals, as opposed to human milk. Also, the studies show that there has been a link between dairy introduction in the early life of an infant and the prevalence of autoimmune disorders. A study of more than 150 children showed that those who began drinking cow's milk at early childhood were four times more likely to develop type 1 diabetes. Also, many trials have shown that on people with autoimmune disorders, excluding dairy has been shown to improve their symptoms. In rheumatoid arthritis, spondyloarthropathies, inflammatory bowel disease, psychosis and schizophrenia, neuroimmune disorders such as multiple sclerosis, also another bad aspect, the link to cancer. The research related to dairy and cancer is mixed, but the biggest link is between dairy consumption and prostate cancer and prostate adenoma, so a benign tumor of the prostate. Higher intake of dairy has been linked to a more severe progression of prostate cancer and prostate cancer relapse. Out of all of these bad things that are linked to dairy consumption, the biggest link is in relation to acne. The consumption of whole milk three days or more per week was associated with moderate to severe acne. Also the consumption of whole milk three days or more in a week was about 13 times more higher among the acne group compared to the control group that didn't eat dairy at all. The studies show that the highest impact on acne is for whole milk. So that's with the bad out of the way, but don't be hating on dairy just yet. Now let's look at the neutral effects or the mixed effects in the literature and the good effects of dairy. So neutral or mixed effects of dairy, meaning we need more studies to know for sure the effect of dairy on these things, are on a neutral effect on inflammation. So some studies suggesting a pro-inflammatory effect and some an anti-inflammatory effect. How about the big one? calcium intake and preventing bone fractures. Well, surprisingly, the studies show a mixed effect. Some studies show no effect on preventing bone fractures. Other studies, like one of the biggest of all, the nurses study, show an increase in overall mortality, increase in hip fractures, 
and women that consumed higher amounts of dairy. Some other studies that also show a beneficial effect in preventing bone fractures, most of them sponsored by dairy and other food companies. Also some neutral effects on asthma, on obesity, so we need more information around these subjects. Now let's go to the positive effects. Nothing! No, I'm joking. For example, child growth. Apparently those who eat more dairy are more likely to achieve a lean body phenotype and grow taller. But we do need more studies to back this up for certain. Increased muscle growth. Like I showed in the video several months ago that I made on nutrition and muscle building. And it has an important overall anabolic effect on the muscle tissue. Many studies show that dairy can aid in weight loss programs because of its satiety effect. And in preserving lean body mass while losing weight. Also a probiotic effect, of course the foods coming from dairy that are fermented and have live bacteria which can regulate gut health and improve some ailments such as inflammatory bowel diseases. Yes, I know it's contradicting, but what can you do? This is nutrition, it's complicated. Anyone who says he has all the answers and is certain about every aspect of nutrition is an idiot. So should you consume dairy? Well it depends. Did your family and relatives drink milk all their life for many generations? How good do you process dairy? The literature suggests that Asians have the highest prevalence of lactose intolerance and Caucasians the lowest. Do you have a milk allergy, eczema or digestive symptoms, discomfort when you eat dairy? Do you have autoimmune disease, acne, inflammatory bowel disease? Then no to be safe. Do you have prostate cancer or prostate adenoma? The thing is we need more quality studies to be 100% sure of dairy and its impact on health. So write in the comments what you think. Is dairy healthy or not? You decide. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful and we'll see each other in the next video. Salut!